Welcome to the support video for workload automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to create contract job definition so that the keep active value is taken from contract or parent folders, rule based calendar, and not from the jobs scheduling. The keep active value from rule based calendar will override that of job definition only when the relationship between job scheduling definition and all rule based calendar is set to all. The following will show how this is done. A new contram rule based calendar, new RBC, was created for the demonstration purpose. The calendar has a keep active value of 30 days, which will be used by the job later. Next, create a new smart folder test RBC which uses the new RBC for its scheduling properties. Add a new job to the smart folder that was just created. Under the scheduling of the job, select Schedule to Advanced Scheduling and ensure job is using the rule based calendar new RBC. Scroll down to rule based calendars section and ensure relationship between job scheduling definition and all rule based calendars is set to all relation. This setting will cause the job to take the keep active value from the rule based calendar and not from the job definition. Notice the keep active value of the job definition is 20 days. If the setting is selected as N relation, the value of keep active will be taken from the job's definition. I have created a second job, test RBC job 2, that uses N relationship to show the differences. Check in the new smart folder and jobs. After new day procedure has executed, check the jobs scheduling properties from monitoring. If you look at test RBC job 1, the keep active value is set to 30 days, which is taken from the rule based calendar. And on test RBC job 2, the keep active value is set to 20 days, which was taken from the job definition. That concludes this Contram solution video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.